we've always been in uh, Youngerman Farms has been based out of Lexington since it started uh, um, the fourth generation. My son will be the fifth, hopefully. Um, start out, my great grandfather immigrated from Germany and uh, bought the land to cut timber for the railroad and then stayed farming. Our, our operation consists primarily of 1,500 acres row crop. Uh, we try to keep it uh, one-third, two-third rotation. Uh, we're adding cotton this year for the first time, so uh, the first time since the 60s. So we're going to do a, uh, a third cotton, third corn, third soybeans rotation. And uh, um, we still have cows. We've cut back to 60 head of breeding stock. Uh, we stock our calves up to about 700 pounds and sell them. Um, we've got a few roping horses that we play with too. The 2010 growing season was a little unusual. Uh, we received 19 inches of rain on May the 1st. Uh, we had planted our first corn April the 17th. So we had 150 acres of corn, um, probably 16 inches tall. And it got under two feet of water. Had to replant quite a bit of it. Um, we didn't get to plant corn again on May 15th. Uh, it got drowned out and we didn't get to plant it by a five inch rain. And then we finally got to plant our corn uh, June 4th, 5th, and 6th. We planted 500 acres of corn in three days. Um, <laughs> and uh, the first planting in April we used um, Agritain. I hate to say that, but we used Agritain. Uh, on with urea and uh, when it stopped raining it didn't rain again till the middle of July that corn didn't perform too good uh, the second planting corn we side dressed in the middle of June and used Nutrisphere um, from June we side dressed June the 17th or 18th and it didn't rain till July the 15th and uh, you could tell immediately the day after it rained, the corn started taking up nitrogen again. Um, it didn't volatilize, didn't go away. We ended up actually pushing, the yields were about 20 to 25 bushel higher with the Nutrisphere as opposed to the Agritain. A nitrogen application last year, we usually split, split apply our nitrogen anyway. Um, we shoot for 150 bushel yield and we go to the 1.1 pounds of nitrogen per bushel uh, ratio so and we usually put out 180 units of nitrogen so um, we put 90 up front and then 90 side dress uh, and I like urea over ammonium nitrate because it doesn't burn the corn as bad um, my landowners like it too because they don't like to see the burning corn so I wanted to use something to stabilize the urea and and they told me about Nutrisphere, and uh, I was all for it. Anything that would hold it there until the plant could use it was all right with me. <laughs> it was planted June the 6th, had a really good emergence, good stand. Um, it didn't rain, it just, it, 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 it got to a point it just stopped. Uh, we applied to the side dress uh, around June 17th, and it didn't rain until the 15th and at, the, at that point it grew very little. I mean, for three weeks there, it didn't didn't move much at all. I mean, and it, it got really yellowed. You could, you could tell it was stressed. Uh, and I was surprised. I, I didn't think it would make anything as late as it was, as dry as it was. Um, it was twin row at 36,000. It was too high a population for the weather. Um, when it finally did rain, it rained about an inch, inch and a half, and I mean, it just, it took off. It went from, I, I thought we'd be lucky to get 50 bushel, it actually yielded 120. This coming year, um, we'll probably put urea down dry, uh, a pre-plant, uh, without a stable, stabilizer, but all of our side dress acres will be with Nutrisphere. Um, with the heat and humidity here in Tennessee, it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer. I'd, I'd recommend it highly. I think um, Nutrisphere is probably the best nitrogen stabilization product out there right now. It's, um, it's, uh, it did a wonderful job. <laughs> There's no, uh, that's the only way I can describe it.